friends this is my tutorial 38 this is part 2 okay so in the part 2 what are you going to do so how to change environmental variable in WestKit software okay this is very important in order to make hetero structures okay last video we have seen how to make uh, this is a gold 1100 surface and also magnesium oxide 100 surface okay so in this video we will see how to set environment variable so this is very important so let's see okay so if you download that uh, your basket software so you can find that uh, how to set environmental variables okay if you open that one so you will find this uh, four things okay so this is the four important four important parameter we need to change in order to get our desired hetero structure so okay here you can see maximum item number default is 10,000 is there so minimum one is there and the minimum lattice angle zero is there maximum lattice angle 180 is there so if you keep like this you will get that uh, you will get a big hetero structure surface okay you cannot get the smaller one so if you get bigger size means that will have 600 to 700 atoms per supercell okay if you cannot do that kind of uh, big surface in the calculation that's why we have to modify this maximum atom number minimum atom number this also two angles okay in order to get exact hetero structures okay so i will tell you how to change this into the your installed best kit software okay okay for that what we have to do we have to go to the corresponding folder where you installed your best fit software in your supercomputer okay so this is the proposition of i installed that our uh, best kit software so I, I installed here best kit 1.4.0 version okay just you can go to that folder yeah we went to inside that folder now You have to see this one cpf how, how to set in variables like this you can type this command then uh, press enter then you have to do that uh, third comma second command ls hyphen a okay then you enter then you will, you will see this kind of files now we have what you have to do we have to edit so vi dot vespit so if you type like that this command we will go to the edit file okay so last time i did some editing and then i left okay that's why it's there so now we will do the recover okay okay so this is the place so we, we have to edit okay so where you have to edit so you can see here so here you can see maximum atom number minimum atom number minimum lattice angle maximum lattice angle okay is there everything so here we want to change a 150 1 to 150 here we will put 90 angle 90 degree angle here also 90 minimum maximum also will give 90 because our uh, crystal structure is uh, 90 only alpha beta gamma value is uh, 90 so i will show you that structure so so this is the postcard one We already made this post kernel last video that only okay so if you go view go to edit edit data unit cell 
so here see our alpha beta gamma value is 90 only okay so that's why we have to give 90 there so if you have any other alpha beta gamma value you can give that value if you have hexagonal side you have to give 120 okay like that you can uh, modify that one then you can uh, get your desired heterostructures okay so that's all so now we are going to edit here okay that's very important okay so go this place press i you will get here you can see insert okay then you can type here so we are going to increase 150 okay 1 to 150 atom okay then you can save escape okay so then come this third one minimum lattice angle then press i point zero okay then also save this again press i remove that one type ninety point zero then escape okay again if you want to edit any other thing just to do it otherwise leave it okay that's all we have edited and saved now we finally we have to save and exit okay so for that you for, then you can um, shift and press uh, colon w q if you type this one three it will save and exit this page okay then enter yeah completed is saved and exit now we have modified our environment variables now we can make our desired data structures okay so for that what we have to do now we have to do so we have to go to the corresponding if you have if you have any questions and please command in this video i will answer okay If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment and share and if also click the bell icon for future video update. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you for your valuable time.